in good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on in good shape. Noise pollution and its effects are our subject today. And my guest in the studio today is Mr. Michael Jäcker Küpers from the Working Group on Noise Pollution of the German Acoustical Society. Very warm welcome to the In Good Shape. We're talking about noise. For a start, what's the definition of noise? Noise is sound which uh, leads to negative effects on human beings or on animals and which leads to impairments. And we have different aspects of those impairments such as annoyance, loss of performance, uh, diseases, health risk uh, increase, or even financial damage for a person who has a house near a noisy road. I know people that don't even mind an um, excavator digging in front of their own home, and I know people that don't really like the clock ticking at the wall. Is noise a very um, individual thing? The noise sensitivity is indeed, um, we have a real range of noise sensitivity and um, this depends very much on the individual, as I call it, noise history of a person. It depends on the general state uh, in which a person lives, the state of stress he has, and it depends on the situations where we are in. If we would like to go to sleep, nearly every individual is uh, very sensitive against noise. So the noise history mean if I live in a silent valley and I move to a big town, yes. a big city, then I'm more annoyed by the noise. On average. Average, right. Yes, on average. And it's not only annoying, noise can have bigger, major impacts on your health. What sort of problems can it cause? We have uh, two main effects. The one effect is directly concerning the ear, hearing impairment. And this is caused by the uh, dose of uh, noise we have during our lifetime. And the other effect uh, concerns the rest of the body, we could say. That means uh, the risk of heart attacks, sleep disturbances, and uh, yeah, even psychic uh, disorders. The hearing impairment often develops gradually, so, so patients don't even know that they are hearing impaired. So what are the warning signs to look after? If you participate in a conversation in a restaurant, for example, and you can't, uh, you can't understand the people or if you can't understand the dialogues in a TV movie. So th this is uh, the thing you should go and see the doctor for a hearing test. Then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and what about all those other body problems not, not concerning the ear directly? There are a number of uh, diseases which can be caused by, by noise. Yes, we have the very important sleep disturbances caused by the noise during the night, where we are especially sensitive. And sleep disturbances may lead to diabetes, may lead to overweight and even to psychic uh, uh, disorders such as depressions. And we have the increase of risk for the cardiovascular diseases, which is caused by noise as a stress factor. And is there a dose dependency? The louder the noise is, the more risky it is for developing diabetes, for instance? Uh, it depends very much on the, uh, of course, on the duration of the uh, exposure. Uh, and we see this for heart attack risk uh, in increase. See, we also that uh, it depends on the, if we live very long uh, along a noisy road, then the probability to, to develop those uh, is heart attack risks is higher. What can we do if we can't make the noise stop? If we look at the environmental noise, we can participate in the noise abatement plans the um, uh, local authorities have to make. We can uh, participate in an initiative who combats noise. And we have some means of self-protection. For example, we can uh, uh, orientate our sleeping rooms at the most silent facade of the house. We can uh, close the windows if necessary. And, and how helpful are soundproof windows and, and curtains or house plants or some, something you could do in your own living room or bedroom? Sound insulation windows are very effective uh, to reduce the interior noise levels and curtains and um, um, carpets 
can contribute to an increase of the absorption area and this also leads to a reduction of the interior noise levels. There are lots of sounds we just do to ourselves voluntarily, like plugging MP3 players into your ears. So should I tell my daughter that she shouldn't hear loud music? I think this is not <laughs> efficient, but uh, you should uh, explain her how, how dangerous the consumption of um, earphones and the um, visit of discos is and that we need to limit this consumption of music in these forms. So, so limited in time or limited in level, actually, in volume? Limited in time and in level, because both aspects uh, are combined to the dose, dose effect, to the cumulative dose. And, um, for example, one can choose a, a, a disco which has a certain label of controlled uh, loudness, where the disc jockey is aware of the problems, where the display showing the noise levels. You can use um, earphones or uh, iPods which are limited in the volume. Mm -hmm. That's what you can do. And you can limit your time, yeah. of course. And, and what about days of rest? So I, I don't mean sleeping, I just mean going out into nature and in, to the park and hearing no sounds at all. That's an important strategy to, to care for um, silent or calm situations and you should uh, try to find them as as often as possible. Okay, Mr. Ecker, thanks so much. So we all should spend some time in silence. Thank you so much for being with us today.